Good day, good day, good people. It's your boy, Mr. Ree, with a special first look at the forthcoming DC film, Birds of Prey. It's set to take over February as the first comic book blockbuster of the year, and as a big, big DC fan, I'm very excited. Now, I'll be also sharing some exclusive review from the film later on in this video, so keep watching if you like getting those sneak peeks. And don't forget to subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube, or follow if you're on Facebook or Instagram. Now, let's get into this. Firstly, who are the birds of prey and why should you care? No one gives two shits who we are beyond that. If you want to tell a story right, you gotta start at the beginning. Birds of Prey is a premier DC all-girl superhero group, first published in comics in 1996. Made up of three original members, Huntress, Black Canary and Oracle. Small geek fact, Oracle was formerly Batgirl before she was injured by the Joker. So, Mary Elizabeth Winstead is playing Helena Bacanelli, aka the Huntress, the daughter of a mafia crime boss. She saw her whole family murdered by a rival gang as a young girl and grew up seeking vengeance in Gotham. <laughs> Sound familiar? <laughs> well, believe it or not, even Batman thinks she's too violent and reckless. And she has a vengeance policy that says, blood cries for blood. Now that's cold. And she has no problem using deadly force. But she's actually on good terms with the rest of the Bat family. In fact, she dated Nightwing for a while. Now the character previously appeared on the short-lived TV show Birds of Prey, which is Now, Jeanne Smollett Bell will be taking on the role of Dinah Laurel Lance, aka the Black Canary. Now, Black Canary is one of the original DC heroines dating back to 1947 in comics. She's been part of almost every team going at some point, including the Justice League. Now, on the small screen, she's been played by many different actresses across different mediums, most recently on the TV show Arrow. She's always been a crime fighting partner and love interest of Oliver Queen, aka the Green Arrow, so it will be interesting to see if he even gets a mention in this movie. Now, having trained at one point with Batman and also with the League of the Assassins, she's a highly skilled martial artist. Her secret weapon, though, is her canary cry, which creates ultrasonic vibrations whenever she screams, able to shatter glass and a lot more, believe me. From the clips we've seen, it seems she'll also do some singing, which kind of ties into her powers. She saves a canary cry though for emergencies as she prefers hand to hand combat. Now, to complete the movie trio, DC Films have chosen not to go with the original founder member Oracle, but Dr. Harleen Quinzel, aka Harley Quinn. No one is like me. Now, Harley Quinn originally appeared in comics in 1992 as a Joker's prison psychiatrist, turned psycho lover, turned partner in crime. Their on again, off again romance has gone on for so many years, but she seems inextricably linked to the clan prince of crime since she crossed over to the dark side. Now, she's been voiced by numerous actresses over the years, including Kelly Cuckoo from The Big Bang Theory. Now, Margot Robbie was the first actress to bring her to the big screen in 2016's profitable but divisive Suicide Squad. So, is this anti hero Harley Quinn now a bird of prey? Well, actually, she isn't. If you look closely at the title, the full title for the movie, it states Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Queen. Kind of separate her. Now, using the word emancipation implies Harley is trying to break free from her captor's grip, who obviously we believe to be the Joker. Now, despite their close ties, there will be no Joker in this movie either. It's an all girl affair. So why is she all over the poster, you might ask? Well, a number of reasons. Well, actually, three most important reasons. Firstly, everyone loved Harley Quinn from the Suicide Squad movie, which is a fact, we all did. Secondly, everyone loves Margot Robbie right now. She's definitely Hollywood's sweetheart. Can't get enough. And third, and most importantly, Margot Robbie is also producing the film under her Lucky Chap Entertainment Company. So she's actually a producer, so why wouldn't she be on the front? So this film will be Birds of Prey facing off against Ewan McGregor's Black Mask while Harley gets tangled up with her new pals whilst dealing with her escape from the Joker's psychological hold on her. I believe Black Mask will be defeated, but will Harley ever truly be free of the Joker? Hmm. So those are your Birds of Prey. Hope you've liked your first look at the movie. Now if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, follow or subscribe so you know straight away when the next one is posted. 
Well, this is your boy Mystery. Hope you stay hooked. To first look. We have to work together. We do. Yeah.